our shared faith tradition opposes all forms of violence. Especially at this time, the bombing of innocent civilians in Gaza, especially innocent children. How can a child be guilty of anything? We oppose the bombing of refugee camps, the bombing of hospitals and schools, and the army assaults on hospitals in Gaza and on Palestinians in the West Bank. But if we want peace, we must work for justice because the root cause of violence in the Holy Land is the unjust treatment of the Palestinian people who have been systematically robbed of their land and their human rights. Our Catholic Cardinal Pizabala in Jerusalem said recently, it is only by ending decades of occupation and its tragic consequences, as well as giving a clear and secure national perspective to the Palestinian people, that a serious peace process can begin. Recently, the Catholic and Anglican bishops of Aotearoa met and they endorsed the work of all those people and institutions in Israel and Palestine who are working for peace, for justice, and for reconciliation. They called for an immediate ceasefire and the opening and ongoing safeguarding of humanitarian corridors. It is a crime to deny the people of Gaza food, water, and the essentials of human life. We have a small Catholic parish in Gaza. They have been housing refugees since the start of the bombing. Pope Francis has been in constant contact with them. And Pope Francis called for an immediate ceasefire in the name of God. So I want to thank all the organisers of these rallies and marches and other activities calling for peace and for justice. And let us keep on mobilising to put pressure on our government and other governments to demand an immediate ceasefire, sufficient aid to Gaza and freedom for the long-suffering Palestinian people. And may God's blessing of peace and justice be with you all. Thank you.